An intricate web of electric wires crisscrosses our nation. And every day, these millions of miles of towers and wire pose a deadly and unseen threat to thousands of pilots and crews who fly rotary and fixed-wing aircraft. What started as a search for missing 25-year-old Kimberly Michelle Turney ended in a rescue effort. Tragically, almost every year an accident occurs where a low-flying aircraft comes in contact with a power line. The results are usually fatal. Aircraft are no match for steel towers and power lines. Virtually all new pilots and most experienced pilots never receive wire strike awareness or prevention training. This applies to all pilots, whether they be general aviation, commercial, or military. All of a sudden I'm looking at the, the shoreline of the river and then the water and then just, just multiple strands of wires just, just that quick. So how do we address this deadly hazard? Currently, the Helicopter Association International endorses an outstanding wire strike prevention program provided by utilities aviation specialists. This seminar is taught primarily to professional utility helicopter pilots and crews. For the most part, it never reaches the tens of thousands of other pilots who also need the training. Following a tragic and fatal aircraft wire strike accident near Oakland, California in 1993, an ad hoc committee of experts from more than two dozen aviation and utility groups addressed the issue of wire strike prevention. One key result of the committee's work was the funding of a wire strike prevention and safety awareness program. This program was specifically intended for fixed wing and rotary pilots to improve their low level flight safety in California. In the many years since that first program was launched, the educational materials have become outdated. New technologies, more modern aircraft, and many additional new safety features now dictate that the original program must be completely updated and reissued. 200 feet and you kept going, what would happen? Pilots and crews need to know how to identify the wire environment and its various components. They must develop the skills and knowledge necessary to operate safely in the wire environment. They should be able to forecast the presence of wire before they actually see it. All right, I think I see the line down there. Yeah, I got the line, I got the tower on the left. I still don't see the tower on the right, though. And through the testimony of other pilots, they need to know it can happen to anyone. Indeed, it can happen to them. They're totally invisible, never saw any poles or anything whatsoever. Next thing I realize is, is uh, we're in the water and I'm very hurt. And uh, the rescuers... Uh, came out and extricated both of us, brought us in to the shore, and that's, that's basically all I remember at that point. There's an immediate need for national wire strike safety awareness and prevention programs. Used in conjunction with in-flight pilot training, a wire strike avoidance program designed for each specific aviation group will help to save lives and help to make our skies safer. To succeed, this program needs the support and financial backing of the aviation organizations that are the bedrock of safety for the industry. These include large trade associations, utility companies, major utility insurance underwriters, the U.S. military, the Air National Guard, and other stakeholder agencies. SCE proposes to manage the project on behalf of those interested organizations, working closely with experienced aviation safety experts such as utilities aviation specialists to develop the instructional content of the program. Your entire hazard avoidance is going to be based on just what you can see in front of you while you're on the line patrol itself. SCE's experienced and professional staff of producers have earned industry awards and honors for their work. The new program materials will identify the problems of wire strikes and give the aviation community guidance in how to develop an effective wire avoidance program. A primary component will be a DVD that can be effectively used in a classroom setting or can be shown at group meetings such as aviation clubs, viewed by individual pilots on DVD or downloaded over the internet. 
Increasing reliance on electrical energy and national expansion of the transmission system only serves to reinforce the urgent need for this safety project. It is our genuine hope that the program will help save lives and make the wire-filled skies safer for everyone.